36, 4. So that is carried. Now we're going to take the vote on the substantive motion as amended. to motion local government funding. May I have a proposal in a second, please? Who has been given an amendment to this motion set out on page 77 of the agenda supplement? I have a first and second. Second it, Mr. Mayor. Councillor Davis, you have now for five minutes to speak to the motion. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Six past six years, we've all got used to the, I think, the fundamental unfairness of the way in which uh, successive Tory governments have distributed clubs to local government funding. Uh, since 2010, we know that the five most of five councils in this country have suffered an average of £336 of cuts in spending per person compared with just £7 per person in the 
least part of the areas. This unfairness, Mr. Mayor, has now reached new heights, or, or probably depths, I think is a more appropriate expression, in the recent announcement by Greg Clark, Secretary of State for London Government, of a £300 million transitional funding uh, pot to soften the blow of the removal of the revenue support grant from council budgets, which we touched on in the council budget debate uh, a few weeks ago. This extra cash has been announced as up to 30 Conservative MPs were friendly to revolt against the local government finance settlement. If we look at an analysis of how this fund, this £300 million fund, is being distributed, uh, we, we know that 83% of this £300 million will go to Tory run councils, mostly in the southern shires. The biggest beneficiaries will be Surrey, which will get £24 million. 19 million will go to Hampshire, 16 million to Hertfordshire, 14 million to Essex, 12 million to West Sussex, 11 million to Kent, and 9 million to Buckinghamshire. Oxford County Council, Oxfordshire County Council, Mr. Mayor, who was criticised by David Cameron's brother for its planned cuts to children's services, will get an additional 9 million to ease its cuts over the next two years. Cheshire East, Mr. Mayor, Cheshire East, the home. Uh, constituency of George Osborne, the Chancellor, will receive six million from this fund. So while Conservative County Councils will get the most relief, Labour-run areas will get zero transition from The five most deprived councils in the country, Middlesbrough, Mosley, Hull, Liverpool and Manchester, will get nothing. The five least deprived, Hart, Wokingham, Chilton, Waverley and Elmbridge, will collectively receive £5.3 million. Of the 36 English metropolitan boroughs representing 22% of the population, only two of those Mets will receive any support, Trafford and Solihull, which also just happens to be the only two Conservative yeah. metropolitan councils. So now let's turn to Wirral and talk about how Wirral fared from this £300 million transitional funding. We know that in terms of deprivation, Wirral is ranked 66, most deprived, out of 326 local authorities. We know we have 44 lower sub areas in the top 10% most deprived in the country. This transitional fund was supposed to help councils transform from dependence on central government grants to greater financial autonomy. We know that the impact of removing Wirral's revenue support grant completely will be to cut 65 million from our budget over the next five years, with 14 million being cut next year alone. This comes, as we know, on top of the 150 million cuts we've suffered since 2010. Given all of these factors, uh, we've estimated that at the very least, we should have got, and this is a very modest estimate, 2 million from this fund. In fact, we will receive absolutely nothing. Mr. Mayor, it is a disgrace. I find it, I find it absolutely amazing that in the light of such blatant bias on the part of this government, the main opposition party uh, over there has not, to my knowledge, uttered one single word against no. no. Well, I, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm looking forward to, to the response. Uh, so, Mr. Mayor, I, I believe, I believe, it's just a bit I believe it's a that it's incumbent, whichever party is in power, to stand up for the people of the world and to back time the party of the people. Mr. Mayor, this motion asks the Council to recommend that the Leader of the Council himself writes to the Chancellor requesting an immediate review of the local government funding formula and particularly this transitional fund with a view to Wirral receiving its fair assessment and settlement to help offset the cuts which the government has forced on the world in 1670 and the following four years. Mr. Mayor, it's time, it's time that councillors in this chamber, particularly opposite, stood up for the people of the world. It's time, Mr. Mayor, that we receive our fair share of national funding from this government. Labour will stand up for the people of the world. This administration will stand up for the people of the world. It's time for other parties in this chamber to get off their knees and do the same. I so move.
very good ones about the formula. And we've argued about formulas over years, and it's it's not an exact science, whatever it is. But when it is as blatant as blatant as this, when a, a 300 million pound fund is created simply to head off a rebellion, then you you know there's an old saying on those joking that at least Dick Turpin had, had the decency to wear a mask. <laughs> the, 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 the government had no decency about that. It was a pure and what's a payoff. And, and to me, to me, this is where you people opposite the, the, the Conservatives let yourselves down. You should have been in there with your people, with your spheres of influence, asking why can't we have a share of that money. And I challenged you all, and I did challenge you publicly, and I'm still waiting to see, show me one piece of evidence from any one of your members where you have challenged that decision at central government on your constituents' behalf. I'm still waiting. I might be shocked later on when Jeff says he, he, he got involved in the consultation. But they didn't. So they let themselves down, they let us down. And the leader has put the case so perfectly and so eloquently tonight uh, about that. And just imagine if we did get a fair share, what other decisions we could make. We've made some awful and very tough decisions over the years. And I said at the last budget meeting, the, war, the figures are eye-watering. The money that is being taken away from the widow is disgraceful. We will be left with the bones at the bare bones. So of course we're having to make very, very difficult decisions. Every single budget heading has to be used to its maximum value. And that will mean tough decisions and more tough decisions to come. Very tough decisions like we have to make tonight. But what sticks in my craw, the people who claim to be standing up for will, and tonight somehow seem to be standing up for the disabled, stole 30 pounds from the disabled yes. Mr. Mayor, I'm a pragmatist and not an idea of what is the opposition. 
after my interview for I, I would personally do what I could to work with the administration to make that real difference happen. If, if the real party wants it, I'm not up to the job, but I only hope the people of Wirral can eventually put the past behind them and elect a party with, who can deliver real long-term positive change for the whole of the world. Mr Mayor, they've had 30 years, well they need another 30 to actually do something. <laughs>